Hello and welcome. In this session, I will go over some tips that can help you save a lot of time, especially when you are preparing your laptop or a computer for data science and deep learning work. The laptop that I'm using is provided by Dell and NVIDIA. It's a Precision 7750 and GPU is NVIDIA RTX 5000. It came with the Windows installed, but then I'll go through all the steps that I used for converting it into a data science or deep learning workstation. So GPU, as you may know, stands for Graphics Processing Unit. And the reason it is used in data science a lot and especially for neural networks, it allows parallel computing. Unlike CPU, where things happen more in series, with GPU, you can do things uh, much faster because you can carry out parallel computing. If you are working with the deep neural networks, you can save a lot of time by using uh, GPUs. So that's the whole idea. So I'll go over things uh, in steps and I'll start by using this link one that I have provided below this video. Click on link one. It takes you to this document uh, prepared by Dell and NVIDIA. It will help you go through various steps in a very systematic manner to prepare your computer for data science work. The computer that I'm using for these uh, installations came with the Windows. I started first by installing Ubuntu and for that you can jump to the appendix on page 9. To get started you will need a storage drive. I used a 8 GB drive which was more than sufficient. Note that Ubuntu installation can take some time. If everything goes very smoothly you may be able to finish within one and a half hours and there are chances that it may end up taking more time. You will have to go through these uh, steps uh, very patiently. There may be a few small things where you have to use your own judgment. Uh, for example, when you are working on step number 4 and it says that you need to disconnect Wi-Fi. But when you come to step number 5, you will have to connect to Wi-Fi so that you can complete these steps. And once you have completed all 5 steps, the system is going to restart and you'll find that it has installed Ubuntu successfully. After that, I went to page number six and completed uh, the steps provided here. These are indicated as optional, but since I was uh, going to work with the uh, deep learning models, I decided to do this setup too. So these are very straightforward and you should be able to complete them without any issue. Having done that, third major step will be to install NVIDIA data science stack on page number seven. And in fact, uh, this is the smoothest one. While completing these commands, I did not face any difficulty and things moved uh, really smoothly. So you may be able to complete this without any issue. So having completed bulk of the installations, next we'll be installing CUDNN, CUDA Deep Neural Networks. So we need to go to the developer website by NVIDIA and you'll have to register by creating an account. So I already have one. So it takes you to this page and if you click on download CUDNN for deep neural networks, it brings you to this page here. You'll find there are various options. So I'm going to click on the latest one. So you'll notice that it has runtime library, developer library and code samples and user guide for Ubuntu 18.04. These are the three files that I am going to download. So you can see I have downloaded all these three files and they are in my downloads folder. When you search for CUDNN 
and click on first one and go to the documentation for CUDNN. So it provides you a lot of information. What we need is we need to go to installation guide. Within that you have uh, three different options. So since I'm using Linux, I will click on number two. And then you see these uh, commands for the three files that we downloaded. So the first thing I will do is to navigate to the directory where we have downloaded these files. We have these three files here and you can see this is the path home slash Bharatendra slash downloads. So we need to change the directory to this path. So change directory cd home slash Bharatendra slash downloads. So now we are in that directory and we can go to step number two. First, we are going to install the runtime library. After that, developer library and then the code samples. Install runtime library. We need to copy this and paste it here. So note that we are using CUDA 11.1. .1. So we need to change these X values. So the first one will be the third file that we have here. And we need to replace X values by 8.05 here. Eight. 0 0.5 and then we have 0.39 and then dash 1 plus CUDA 11.1 so this x dot x becomes 11.1 .1. so basically it is ready so once we hit enter this is done and then we move to the next one so since I have already completed this step I'm not going to repeat this now we do the similar thing with developer library you can copy and then paste it here and then make those updates to x values as you see for the developer file at the top so once you install these three files this step is completed we have installed CUDA deep neural networks if you like to check CUDA version you can go to the terminal NVIDIA dash smi so it gives you information about the latest version of CUDA installed the next thing is to install R and R studio so if you use uh, sudo apt install R dash base it is likely to install 3.4 version of R but if you want the latest one if you want uh, version 4 and above you may have to go through some extra commands so I have listed uh, three sudo commands below this video that you can use. And then if you run sudo apt install r dash base, it is going to install the latest r. And then you can download r studio. So you go to the desktop version and then go to Ubuntu. So I'm using Ubuntu 18. So this is the one I'm going to download and install. So this is very straightforward. So I'll not go through the steps. You should be able to do this very easily. So having installed R in R Studio, we can move to the next step. So let's open R Studio. So you can see I have 4.0.3. So now we can install Keras and TensorFlow. And for that, you can type install packages keras so i'm not going to run this because i already installed it but i will run the library so you can see it runs without any problem and then we can install install dash keras tensorflow equals within quotes GPU 
since we want to make use of nvidia gpu so we should run this command and then we should be able to use gpu without any problem since i already installed it i'm not going to install this again So if you want to look at session info, you can see that this is using the latest R version 4.0.3 and we are running Ubuntu 18.04.5 LTS. We also have TensorFlow 2.2 and Keras 2.3. So now our workstation is ready to run deep learning networks. You can use github link given below this video and under deep learning you will find gan underscore compare so click on that and simply copy the entire code and let's uh, paste this in r studio So what it will do is it will run GAN network and it will also monitor how much time it takes. So we have a begin time and at the end we have end and then we can take the difference and see how much time it takes to complete the entire run. So I'm going to remove this hash in line 3 so that we can save the pictures in desktop folder. Now before I run this. I also want to open a terminal window and I want to monitor GPU and CPU performance using glances and for that I am going to type sudo glances. If you do not have this uh, you may have to run a line that I have provided below this video. So let's run this. I need to enter my password. And it gives you this window so it shows you how much of CPU and how much of GPU is getting used so I'm going to run entire code you can see the numbers change as the processing continues we also have the temperature which is about 55 C so it has taken about uh, 1.24 minutes to complete all the runs it has taken about 1.24 minutes on a regular computer with only CPU it would have taken several minutes so usually it cuts down the time to one third or one fourth of what you get with just CPU so this was a quick overview of sharing the steps that I used for preparing the workstation for data science and deep learning work and I hope you find this useful thanks very much